Welcome back. Let's do problem four here from the McMurray 7th edition textbook. Uh, we've got one bromobutane, and that's a nice primary um, alkyl halide. And that's the carbon one, and I'll dot that carbon. That's sometimes referred to as the alpha carbon. Now, we have different um, nucleophiles present. When you have sodium iodide, you need to remember that that is actually just I minus. Sodium ion is a spectator ion, so that's going to attack this carbon and kick off um, the bromine. And what you're going to get from that is a primary alkyl iodide. Okay. In the next example, we have KOH. Okay. And we're always supposed to draw the SN2 reaction, so we don't need to think about anything else. But um, when, when you have NaOH, or sorry, KOH, remember that the potassium ion is a spectator ion, and what you simply have present is uh, hydroxide. So that's going to come in here and substitute the leaving group. And so hydroxide is a great nucleophile for doing that. Okay. So in problem C, we have... Um, an acetylide ion. So we have um, this molecule here. And if you haven't seen it before, it might be kind of confusing. Whoa, what's going on there, right? So let me draw it out carefully. We have this alkyne, and then we have a bond, and then we have lithium. Now remember, lithium is positive, okay? And that's just a spectator ion. And what you have present is actually the nucleophile, and it's a type of carbanion. It's a carbon with a lone pair on the carbon and a negative formal charge. And this guy here can attack primary alkyl halides, displace the great leaving group there, and give you alkynes as reaction products. So that dotted carbon is part of the four carbons of the bromobutane. So watch out for that. And then we have the C and then the C of the nucleophile. Okay, So these two carbons are from the nucleophile. These four carbons are from the substrate. So uh, this is a carbon-carbon bond forming reaction. Now ammonia is our next reactant. So let's squeeze that in here on the bottom. And I'll just draw the monoalkylation product, assuming you're not, uh, you haven't reviewed the amine synthesis chapter yet. And so we have uh, NH3. Now NH3 is a neutral molecule. There's not. Um, anything else in there as a spectator ion, but we've got lone pairs, and that's good because these lone pairs are sufficiently nucleophilic to displace this leaving group and give us, after reaction, um, this guy here, and I'll draw out these uh, different uh, bonds here. So you can see that um, we've attached the NH3 there, but nitrogen with four bonds is a ammonium ion, and so it has a positive charge there. Now, it needs to be counterbalanced with a bromide, okay? So the product is actually going to include this bromide, okay? So it's actually an ammonium salt. In these other cases, we don't care too much about bromide being released because that's just an inorganic byproduct that is not isolated. But in this case, you are going to isolate the bromide in conjunction with the protonated amine. So thanks for watching here.